Hello, weaving people. Susan here. Okay, so I may have talked about this before, but um, I like to make videos when I'm doing something and I think about it. So I'm warping my Union 36 loom, and I have a thick warp on here. I'm going to be doing some weft-faced rugs. Um, and so one of the things that uh, I do that uh, helps me if I make a mistake is I'll thread a section. So I have actually six threads in my two inch section. So I've got like a three ends per inch. Um, I hope that's gonna work. I was planning on doing four and somehow I only put six spools on. But anyway, I'm gonna try it. So I've just threaded this section and I have it um, loosely tied off on the other side of the heddles. And now I'm getting ready to do my next section. And one thing that I do, if I have plenty of heddles, is between each section, I will just put an extra heddle in between here. And the reason I do that is that if I make a mistake, I don't have to go back and re-thread that whole section. I can just, or the whole, um, the whole warp. Let's see. So I'll find my next section of warp here. Okay, so I've got it, um, a piece of tape on here to kind of keep it under control. So anyway, uh, the reason that I do that is if I make a mistake when I'm threading the heddles, then it's really easy to um, take advantage of those extra heddles. Let's see, I did that shaft. And this warp is really thick, but I have inserted eye heddles. I don't know if you can see in the video, but um, these are nice and big. So I just double the warp thread and push it through. And so there's one. Oh, the other reason that you might want to put extra heddles in between um, your warp is if you've got a really um, low um, EPI. So like I said, I've got like three ends per inch. And I'm afraid if I just had the heddles that I need for this particular project, I would run out of room on the ends to store my extra heddles. So this way, by, oh, I'm busy talking and I just threaded the wrong one. Ha ha ha. So anyway, I'm distributing some of those extra heddles um, across my project. I've got plenty of room. It's not going to be crammed in there by any means. And then, because one thing I really hate to do is if I'm weaving something and I end up with way too many heddles and there's not room for, for them is to actually have to take them off. Um, so this works out better for me. I try and keep my warps um, so that they're not all twisted around each other. I mean, if you, if you have them cross, it's not a big deal un unless you know, you've really got them twisted up in there. So I'm trying to keep everything nice and organized. Okay, so this should be six threads here. And I'm a um, very paranoid person, so every six threads, 
I'm going to check and make sure that they're right. Okay, that looks right. So now I'm going to get up, walk around the loom, and make sure that my warp threads are, are not hooked over the little pegs and, and I'll check that several times as I wind on and then I'm just doing a little quick over, loose overhand knot. So I finished that section and again I'm going to insert some extra heddles in here and I'm just putting um, actually I'm going to put two in between these sections so hopefully when I get to the other side, I won't have a whole bunch of extra heddles there. And then I'll just go on and thread the next section. So that's all I wanted to say about warping.